Welcome back, fellow knights! I hope you guys are ready for another glorious siege battle. We are just days away to the release of Thrones of Britannia, and to celebrate, we've got another Viking invasion. So, of course, I've got an exclusive view on one of the factions in Thrones. We're looking at Dyflin, I believe is how you pronounce it. It's the true sea Viking faction from Ireland who created, actually, the city of Dublin, which is not... A, it wasn't created by the Irish. It was created by the Vikings, which is uh, really interesting. It was cool to learn that. Uh, but look how glorious these guys are headed towards this settlement. So, if we look at the map here real quick... So, yep, there's Dyflin. I'm taking on Jackie Fish. He is leading as, or he's fighting as Wessex. Uh, he's going to upload this video too. Uh, he's covering Wessex, so I'm not going to look at them too much in detail because that's his faction. Uh, you can see his point of view. I think he's going to upload this Friday, so definitely check that out if you want to see more of Wessex. Uh, so I'm attacking by land and sea. I've got a small land force here. Uh, real quick, if we check out these units, I've got the Eastman Champions. Uh, pretty cool name. And then I've got the Shield Biters, uh, which is like a hybrid infantry berserker unit. They're not quite infantry fully, and they're not quite berserkers, but you can lose control of them in the heat of a battle. Uh, back over here, I've got some rams with more Eastman champions. Uh, so pretty decent uh, sword infantry, tier 2. And then I've got my berserkers in the back, tier 3, ready to chop some foes up and have no disregard, ha basically have no... Concern of their own goodwill, uh, and then we've got the Eastman Hunters, some of them missing shoes. I will certainly uh, get them some shoes if they win this battle today. More Shield Biters in reserve, and that's pretty much my land force. Real quick, let's go to the Sea Force, and we are about to get a little collision here of naval ships. So he's got three units of very brave uh, Anglo soldiers about to take on my Viking force. Eastman Herdman about to charge in. This music's getting epic, guys. Look at this. And they're about to collide here. And just to even the odds, I'm also going to send forward some Axemen. I've got some mailed Axemen who are going to help out in this fight and surround these units. Just to make sure I don't lose too many here because I am going to need them. Uh, back here, I am bringing some Javelins, some Hunters. Or actually, these are Archers, but I am bringing Javelins. Some more Hunters in the back, just saving them for later. Uh, and then here is the Kerns. These are the Javelins. And then over here, we've got more Huskarls. Look at this. Some of them are bare. Look, they got no shoes or even protection for their legs. Insane. Very brave. Very brave indeed. So yeah, pretty pretty awesome, guys. Lots of axes. Here's the Royal Huskars. I believe this is my general of today's battle. Got more Berserkers from the ships, and they're just bloodthirsty, you know. They're just ready to get in there. Anyways, let's go to normal speed and um, really dive into this fight so you can see that a uh, very bold move here by Wessex going after my uh, my herdmen. And they're, they're coming in uh, pretty aggressively. But because of that, I'm going to send in reinforcements. I've got my mailed axemen. They're going to jump over. It's uh, They're going to use this this ship. Woo! Pretty impressive jumps here. Watch this. Boop. It's not as bad looking as like Rome 2 or Attila. It's not like... doesn't look super unrealistic. But here we go. Here comes the flank. And I already got soldiers in the back line. Cutting down these Anglo scum. Go, Scandinavians, go. And then back over here, same situation. I've got them surrounded. And once again, same situation. Just, again, I'm trying to save as many lives here because I'm going to need them for the, uh, the the beach landing. Let's go over here, though, because I'm pretty sure, yes, indeed, we've got troops ready to scale the walls. And they're getting hit hard with archers. More and more Vikings coming down here and uh, doing some damage. Get in there, boys! Get in there! So I'm just trying to, uh, you know, the tricky thing about attacking walls like this is making sure you don't get overwhelmed slowly, if you get what I'm saying, where we could easily outnumber the troops defending these walls, but you gotta make sure you keep pushing troops for these walls and also taking out these arrow towers because they can really do some damage. Um, but yeah, we've got some, looks like his scarls coming in. Take them out, boys! Take them out! Don't let them get that charge! We got him stuck in the fight. I've got more coming around the flank. I believe these are the shield biters. And yeah, they're a smaller unit. And there they go. Berserker charge. That's awesome. So I've got him surrounded. Uh, back over here, he's got his royal things, uh, which are very, very good. 
Uh, they've got my shield biters kind of cornered there. And now my shield biters over here are also getting hit with arrows. So that's going on. Let's go over here and make sure we don't miss the beach landing because this is the epic part, guys. This is the glorious part. I mean, look at this. Gotta love it, man. Gotta love it. So he's got a mix of, it looks like, swords and spears ready to hold this front and the the great viking i mean could you imagine being one of these soldiers and seeing these viking ships come ashore you've got to hold oh the beaches here we go they're gonna jump down it's a pretty far jump ow charge take them out break through the defenses so I'm more confident in my naval ba uh, naval army, or my navy, I guess, the beach landing force, compared to the land force, because they don't have to deal with walls. Uh, they're fighting more, it's more closely packed, so they can really work together, unlike the battle for the walls over on the other side. Look at this, holy crap. This lone, look at this, this lone shield guy, holding back, holding, he's like holding the ship back, he's like push, it's like a marathon, just pushing the ships back. Uh, but look at the death over here. Already had an, a battle there. And now we are pushing and we've got to keep sending up uh, ships. They are now uh, uh, falling back to make more way for more troops. And you can see the glorious, glorious line battle going on over here. Uh, or battle line, I should say. Between these two great cultures. Uh, let's go back over to the other side. Let's see how the wall fight is going. It's pretty stalemate. I, I'm, which is not good for me because I'm attacking. I need to break through here, and I need to do it quickly. Really, honestly, what I want to do with my land and, and sea force is to unite them in the settlement. But he's got a lot of reserves just sitting here chilling. I pushed up some of my hunters. Got about three units. They're trying to locate. Fight, look at that. Pew, trying to locate and figure out where these archers are, the defending archers. Pew, 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 So, yeah, these are just... I don't know how to pronounce it, but they're pretty... They're, they're levy bow infantry. They're not very good. Look at that. The arrow's coming down. I didn't really want to use my arrows for their archers, but... You know, archers are not, are not super effective against this heavy armor, so... It's better to just silence their archers. And here we go. I've got some Huskarls joining the fray now. As they try to take this, uh, this wall... Charge, you bastards! Charge! Look at the arrows just exchanging. Or the archers exchanging arrows. Now I'm going after some infantry. But those shields and that armor is really protecting. I'm just not doing enough damage. Let's go back over here. More and more of the Vikings. I just love this so much. There's just something so cool about seeing Viking ships and men jumping down. and It's awesome. So yeah, they're pushing. It looks like the clouds are kind of blocking the sun right now. Did it? Is that just me or did it all of a sudden get darker? But yeah, we pushed through the beaches pretty effectively. He didn't send his best units to defend the beach, but they did their part, and they're holding back my men. You can see they're getting harassed by arrow towers. And now we're taking on some ma uh, mailed thanes. Love the music, too, of this game. I just love the time period so much. Oh! Where is that coming from? Ah, oh, my ships, my archers. I pushed up my archers. And now they're firing down, trying to support the infantry as they continue to, to push. I don't want to use all my arrows from this from this, uh, this angle. I want to try to save some of them because I am going to need them for the final push. More and more ships coming ashore, continuing to drop more and more Vikings. Ugh, what a sight to be an Anglo and to see that and just be like, Oh God, this is terrible. Alright. So let's go back over to the walls. Walls, not going super well. Uh, this side looks a little promising here. The Eastman champions. Slow down the camera here a little bit. Still just trying to push our way, use brute force to fight through these guys. The combination of the arrow towers and the archer support 
is really making this assault suffer losing a lot of casualties in this uh, in this fight it's just been a very difficult situation my berserkers are going in though they're going ham and they're going to try to do their best here to try to cut down these royal thanes and remember these are really good units here so hopefully when we kill them the rest of the forces will not be as good like hopefully he's committing his best troops to the front line uh, my archer's still firing still trying to take out the uh, the enemy archers Oof. they have very little armor so i'm gonna kill most of them now he's got some mailed spearmen coming up. He's going to join the fight over here, trying to hold back my shield biters. Push! Let's go ahead and do a cinematic view. Oh, yeah! <laughs> cool. Let's go to the, uh, the, the beaches. And you can see that we finally pushed through most of the defenses. And we've got these uh, guys surrounded, sending in some Eastman Huskarls. To cut these guys down and they're gonna be screwed they are surrounded there's nowhere to run for them I'm capturing arrow towers so I lo no longer get harassed I'm burning down their buildings it's a sight to be seen all right cool and I think we've cleaned up most of the the fighting over here so naturally Jackie fish is going to retreat He's falling back his men and he's getting ready for the second defense here. He's got his archers ready to go. They're already firing down at my Hiskarls, which is a good unit to go after because they don't have uh, shields. So, yeah. So, yeah. He's, I'm already getting harassed by him. There we go. We captured the gate. And it's up to my it's up to my naval force. I still have a lot of them. Uh, my land force, not looking good. Not looking good at all. Balance of power is still in my favor. Uh, but in terms of numbers, we're fairly even. I think I've got more skill on my side. But skill doesn't matter if those archers shoot down my men. You know, yeah, sure, they might be really skilled warriors in close combat. But if they get hit with an arrow to the face, you know, they're dead. It doesn't matter how good you are with an axe. Cool. So we're trying, this is the, I mean, I'm just trying to keep a lot of guys over here occupied. Uh, Janky Fish is now starting to retreat towards the town center, beginning to defend that, preparing his final stand. He's got a lot of forces over here. Um, and of course we've got a bridge defense, which is gonna be very, very challenging to take on. These archers I'm hoping are low on ammo, but I think he was saving them for this moment. For a moment like this, some people wait a lifetime. All right, Eastman Herdman, Huskaro's lined up, ready to go. I've got my shields ready. Just giving my guys a little bit of a rest. I mean, they did, you know, they charged the beach. They took on many warriors, and now i got to give them a little rest. But not too long, because I don't want the archers to, to chew me up. And I'm thinking of sending in my Huskaro's in first, because they are the ones who are great at bringing down shields and shield uh, walls like this. Uh, I am losing troops though on the other side. You can see them breaking. It's mostly my archers. Um, but I, I'm starting to cause some breakage over here, which is good. And in, in the, the wheat field, the wheat farm. There we go. We broke those Anglos. But unfortunately, Jackfish, he's going to do a little flanking maneuver here with those Royal Thanes. And unfortunately, my men do break. And that is the last of the land invasion I still have some troops over here but they're not gonna do much so it's all up to the sea boys and the balance of power is still in my favor which is great I'm gonna go ahead and charge in my Huskarls charge and we got to try to slice through them quickly the shield wall though is going to it's going to make it very difficult so while that's going on also on the other side we're going in with another charge Judge! Love that shield wall. These are spears. Spears aren't really known for killing people, at least in this game. They're more for just holding, and they can hold for a while. So even though I'm not losing a lot of men, I've got to get here, get through here quickly, because the archers are causing some issues. I finally set up my archers on these walls, kind of firing back here. Fire back! Give them a taste of their own medicine.
So yeah, just doing what I can to soften up their numbers. Because uh, this is going to be a, a tough... Like, I'm going to lose a lot of men on this bridge battle. But if I can just break through and quickly rush through and, and really get his troops by surprise... Uh, I mean, y breaking is very effective in this game. Like, breaking troops is extremely effective. So, outflanking is so important. So, so important. I guess I'm out of ammo here. Oh, wait, no. They're just shifting. Going after their archers. Because his archers are focusing down my infantry. There we go. I'm sending up reinforcements. Let's give them some mailed axemen. Heavily armored troops here. Not as not as aggressive as the Huskarls, but they've got that protection because the shields. And there we go, extra troops, and they've really slaughtered a lot of my Huskarls. <laughs> it's pretty unfortunate. Uh, but yeah, we're still tr we're struggling to get through these guys. This defense is holding, and unfortunately, he broke my Eastman Huskarls. And I'm I'm sending in my archers, and th it's not because it's not because I'm out of infantry. I'm just you know. Using them to hold them back as I'm using my kerns here, my javelins, and more more archers in the back here. So here's my javelins. So it's not it's not looking great. He's doing a good job of holding me back here. I still have fresh troops over on this side. So I need to push them up. They continue to burn down the city. Again, in case you didn't know, burning down the city does a lot to their morale and their combat effectiveness. But the balance of power is shifting quickly in Jackie Fish's favor. Not good. It's gonna be a close one, guys. It's gonna be a close one. Alright, more and more troops. Eastman, Wood, Kern still just trying to do what they can. A lot of them are dying to skirmishers, but that's okay. I'd rather them take most of that, you know, most of that ammo rather than my, my elite infantry. So, and I think that's why the balance of power is shifting so quickly is because I'm losing so many men so fast. Finally, I'm going to get my Berserkers. They've got Silver Chevrons. So I gave them a lot of experience. Jackie Fish, he's going to run down and try to cut down my, my hunters who are breaking the wrong way. Look at the Berserkers. Oh, keep your shields high. The Javelins, man, they hurt. There they go. And the Berserkers do what they do best. Kill. They just kill. Back here, I've got more... Uh, actually, Mailed Axemen... And some more berserkers. So the ber berserkers are going to be key to this assault. They've really got to get in there. I also have some re reserve forces back here. Eastman, uh, Haskarls, and whatnot. Uh, let's go back over to this fight, though. Yes, we're getting close to breaking through. They are thinning out. And again, what, if we can just get through these bridges, if we can just push through, we can break down the rest of his forces. Let's check out his army, though. I think he was I, I think he was ready to defend the town center, but now that he's doing pretty well at the bridge, he's decided to push up his reinforcements. Not I mean there's some good units in here, but it's not like super amazing. I think the best unit, obviously the royal bodyguard, probably hand-picked chosen soldiers who are absolutely boss at fighting people. Alright, here we go. We broke through the bridge thanks to the berserkers. Again, berserkers do what they do best. I have no control of them. I do control these axemen. Just trying to bring down these javelins so they stop harassing my forces. But the berserkers are just like I don't I'm not telling them what to do because they are going berserk. And that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. They're doing what they need. No! Keep your shields down, you crazy bastards. There we go. Silence these javelins. He's got more infantry over here. We've got to break through over here though. It looks like he sent up some reinforcements to hold this bridge. Push! Push through this scum! Alright, more and more troops charging across the bridge. I got berserkers in position. Ready to charge. They're trying to outflank my berserkers. But it's like, nah. Not this day. Charge, berserkers, charge! Here comes his reinforcements. Look, he's lining them up. My berserkers, since they're so crazy, they've got no sense of like perspective or anything. They're just going in and they're going to easily get outflanked because of how crazy they're being. Uh, I am pushing up my kerns here. They're getting some hits. And finally, we have broken through over here. Push, push, men. The berserkers need your aid. 
Eastern mailed, mailed Axeman pushing over to support the Berserkers because look at this Jackie Fish going with a huge flank the balance of power is dead even who will take this battle no one will know until well the end we, well I mean we'll know soon and he's gonna charge my javelins my javelins are gonna hold their ground brace for impact not a good sight not a good sight javelins are not gonna hold long there this is all of my forces my admiral, uh, he just now dismounted from the ship. I'm trying to get him over there quickly, but that was a kind of mis that was a, that was a little bit of a mistake on my part, not getting him into the fight quicker. Got to break down these mailed thanes. They're gonna be tough. They are thanes, and they're mailed. But yeah, my berserkers are in there deep, fighting the good fight. Let's see, they've gotten eighty-three kills. This one has gotten 290, ah, oh, just short of 300, and the Berserkers break. That's right, I still have one more Berserker unit. The Bounce of Power now in favor in Jackie Fish's, uh, you know, in favor in Jackie Fish's side. And they've reached 100 kills, but they're about to be outflanked. I'm burning down some buildings, still trying to affect their morale, but it's just not enough. More and more of my men trying to get over to that other side, trying to flank around these mailed thanes, but they just will not break. And more reinforcements coming over to aid them in a time of need. Jackie Fish's uh, general pushing up this way. These guys look badass. And here comes my general. Charge in, general. What are you doing? Just get in there. Give them hell. Push. Push. It's up to the Admiral. He can turn this one around. The balance of power, there's still hope. There's still hope. But my men are getting outflanked. Here we go. Look at this. Two shield walls. No big deal. General going in. Those big old axes. Look at that. And they just muscle their way through here. Now, these are just Fjord Axemen, or Fjord, Fjord Axemen. Not sure to pronounce it. But just like that, they break. They break. And then we're, I'm going to quickly go to the other unit. Quick, quick, quick. Charge them. Trying to break their formation. Trying to get behind them. But no, my forces have been defeated here. And soon Jackie Fish is going to throw in what's left of his army. My Berserker's still going ham over here. Let's see, where are they at? They've killed 161 men. My general has killed 69 giggity men. Don't you break! Oh, I think my berserkers are wavering over there and... General is surrounded. Hold you bastards, hold! No! No! And there you have it, guys. That's the battle. A valiant defeat. I think uh, I just didn't get enough done on the land portion of the battle. Sea battle went nicely. The land battle, the archers chewed me up, and I just, I didn't, se I guess I didn't send enough men uh, over there. So that was the unfortunate part. Also, Jackie held me very well at these two bridges. So let's end the replay and look at the results here of these forces. So. I was just short of 4,000 kills, so I had a lot of kills. He deployed more men than me. Now, again, my men was more quality, or were more quality. Um, so, yeah, 205 with the Berserkers, 179. 303 from the Herdmen, 296 from some mailed Axemen. Who didn't do well? See, I mean, there's a lot. It looks pretty even. My Shield Biters did not do well. I feel like the reason they did so poorly is because the Shield Biters is more of a support unit, kind of like the Berserkers. You don't really want to send them in the front line. So maybe I should have sent them in second instead of first. I think I could have done a little bit better. Maybe invest less in these Skirmishers because they just didn't get that many kills. And then Jackie Fish, he got a nice, nice spread of kills there. So that's going to conclude today's battle. Thank you so much for watching this one. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time on the battlefield.